Well, hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Ask Rec. This time I'm going to be doing a solo run of Manticore um, Abyss. I mean, yeah, Manticore normal mode. Uh, it's kind of like a speedy run right now because the video turned out to be longer than 10 minutes and I didn't want to make it that long. But on to business. I'm going to be discussing a question uh, given to me by one of my subscribers. And the question is, hi. Saw your guide in the end eternity. Basically, I main as a mercenary over at Westwood, but recently the T4 changes that are happening seems to have nerfed mercenary to auto oblivion, what with our howls being reduced to a pulp. So anyways, my question. Will mercenary be playable still once the, ch the changes comes? Cause some people say physical attack DPS isn't gonna mean anything compared to magical attack DPS. I really like my merc, so please clarify for me. Alright, there you have it. Um, this is gonna be a really tricky subject. I had to do some research. Uh, all the information provided here is not my own. I got it from a post in MMO site. The credit for that information goes to KOC5 and Do one uh, I'm gonna be putting up the link in the video. Please check it out. And if you wanna do some math on those numbers, uh, feel free to do so. Well, what I'm gonna be doing, guys, is I'm gonna be analyzing uh, our main skills. Well, the main house, I suppose. Uh, I'm not gonna be analyzing the DPS and skills because that's a lot, a lot of information to put just in one video. And uh, you, I'm gonna be putting the link in the page so you guys can check it out. Um, but in this video, I'm gonna be analyzing um, taunting how I'm gonna be analyzing. Um, Toughness, Charging Howl, I'm going to be going through Devastating Howl, and Disenchanting Howl, even Battle Howl. Well, here we go. On to our Crucial Howl discussion, which is Taunting Howl. Um, in the actual server, uh, it would be the equivalent on, on level 1 having 12,000 aggro, um, minus 10% physical attack and magic attack, and minus 20% critical, and duration of 8 seconds. On the max level of 50 would be this huge amount of aggro and it increases the, the damage decrease by 20% and by 40% the critical and the duration is 30 seconds. That is amazing. Now this is the painful part. After T4 update the aggro is gonna be the same at level 1. The damage reduction that we get is 4% and the critical reduction is 4%. That is a huge nerf right there, and it does increase our duration for 10 seconds. It's just two seconds more. Uh, when we go to level 12 skill, we get a little bit more aggro, but compared to the first aggro that we had at level 12 in actual, uh, it's just low. Also, the 20% boost that we used to get at level 12 is as much as we're ever going to be able to get right now. It's going to be 12% reduction and that includes critical reduction too and the duration does not increase with each level up that we do so it will stay permanently on 10 seconds that is very bad like it says on the article this is a nerf to oblivion aggro and duration are cut to one third of the original values attacking critical reduction is just 12 percent wearing skill accessories gives you 16 percent attack reduction but the duration is constant at 10 seconds regardless of level. The good news is the SP is very low to get it max. Might need it to supplement for the nerf version of Devastating How. Only required one skill point to learn. This is rather good or bad, I don't know. It will have to be tested once once the, up, the update come out. For me personally, I'm not too fond of Taunting How, but after the update I might actually need to get it because I am very fond of dev devastating how and if it's gonna be nerfed like it is gonna be nerfed I'm probably gonna have to supplement it with uh, taunting how well I have bad news for those uh, who like just to put on some super armor and go kick some ass um, toughness effect is gonna be reduced it is not gonna give us any more uh, the same amount of reduction that it used to give us at level 5 is gonna give us instead of 14 it gives us 9% not that big of a deal, but it's still a nerf, and it's worth considering a bad thing. So, hot charging how is next. Um, with charging how we used to get super armor like really good and shit. So, 
now it gets nerfed from 25% physical and magical reduction to 15% in level 1 and from 35, 37% I mean physical and magic reduction level 5 to 25% uh, it used to be 32 seconds now it's gonna be 15 seconds in level 1 and it used to be 36 in level 5 and now it's 25 seconds um, the cooldown is 45 seconds and they nerfed the duration and the damage reduction so now we have Devastating Howl, that kick-ass howl that we that used to reduce 80% of the monster's attack power and magical attack. Uh, it's no longer going to be the same. The damage is also reduced, so it's going to be reduced from 531% damage that it used to be to 300%. Uh, the damage reduction that we do with it is going to be from 80% to 30%. That is horrible. From 10 seconds, however, it's going to be increased to 20 seconds with duration. At level 2, you get from 82% uh, damage reduction that we used to have, we get now a 40% damage reduction, so it is definitely uh, good to consider getting it to 40. Now we have Disenchanting Howl. I didn't analyze the damage output in this skill because, quite frankly, nobody gets it because of the damage. We get it because of the effect. Um, the effect of this skill in level 1 is used to debuff one, one buff and now it still does the same in level 1. The target just gets silenced for 3 seconds on level 1. That's 1 second reduction and when we get it to level 10 uh, it was supposed to debuff 6 buffs. Now it only debuffs 2. And from 10.3 seconds of silence, which are awesome, it gets reduced to 4 seconds. That is nearly useless. Now we have Battle Howl, last but not least. I love this skill, so let's see what it does. Uh, for now, it used to be 28 seconds. It's going to be increased to 180 seconds. That's amazing. Uh, we see the movement from physical damage uh, percentage increase to just raw damage, which is 71 at level 1. Uh, the same for criticals from percentage to raw critical, which is going to be 680. And the stun bo boost that we get is going to be from 30 to 20. That's another nerf right there. Uh, from fi level 5, we're going to still get 180 seconds. Uh, the attack and magic attack is going to increase. Uh, is going to be increased to 1,312 a set amount, uh, and decreased from the 25%. 37% um, of critical boost that we used to have is now going to be set to a raw amount of. 1800 and from 37% uh, stun boost that we used to get now it's gonna stay at 20% um, this is a really evolved skill I suppose they changed it completely it gives us a lot more time with it I suppose until we experiment with it we're not gonna see uh, if it's worth it but if we do get a skill ring it's, it still increases it a nice amount of damage from 1,312, it still increases it to 2,081, and the critical amount it's increased to 3,320. Well, after T4 update, guys, uh, mercenaries are gonna go through a big transformation. We're still gonna be playable. Uh, it's true that the magic DPSs are gonna out DPS us. They still do at the current time. Uh, T4 update will probably come to. DNSCA as soon as the level 50 cap so everybody needs to be ready for that. The way I see it they're doing this update so that we rely less in over upgrading our armor and more into what skills we choose to upgrade further. Um, it could be good, it could be bad, let's see how it turns out but that's as much as I can say so thanks for watching this video and have a nice day.